Hi everybody, so we're here for the SAT question of the day for September 17th, 2011. 42% of students answered this one correctly, so kind of a hard question. It's a sentence completion, so let's go ahead and read it. Uh, Professor Chen believes that the universal character of art refutes the prevailing notion that art is a blank of civilization, a cultural frill, a social veneer. Okay. So, Professor Chen believes that the universal character of art refutes the prevailing notion that art is a blank of civilization, a cultural frill, a social veneer. Okay, so this phrase here, um, a cultural frill, a social veneer, right, um, seems to be suggesting uh, that it's referring to this previous clause. All right, so I'm going to underline this and just draw an arrow over there. So we're looking for a word that's sort of similar to frill or veneer, right? Well, what do these words mean? Well, uh, a veneer is sort of like an outer coating, um, like on wood or something like that, a shiny coating usually. Um, and then a frill is, is sort of like a, a luxury, um, Something that's unnecessary, but fancy. Right. So we're looking for some sort of word similar to that. And uh, oops, well, just kind of gave away the answer there. The answer is D, luxury. But let's go through the other answer choices just to make sure. Uh, a guarantee of civilization? No. A hallmark of civilization? Well, a hallmark is sort of like a calling card or defining characteristic. Um, something that uh, that really defines someone and their particular approach. Um, so you could say, um, you know, that an artist has a particular calling card, something that he or she always puts in, in his or her paintings, or um, uh, a band might have a calling card or a particular sound that defines them. Uh, that would be a hallmark. Um, a record of civilization? No. A depiction of civilization, well, a depiction is a portrayal of civilization, so no. So uh, we can feel confident that our answer is, in fact, D.